Look, I again, I grew up on comic books. Yeah. Uh, I mean, comic book geek from the door. <laughs> but the politics of the superhero genre tend to be very much grade school. I mean, it's good versus evil, mm. the dominating villain versus the freedom fighting hero. Mm. You took it from grade school to grad school. I mean, you're talking about colonization and slavery and Martin versus Malcolm, and you've got feminist politics sitting there. How were you able to navigate that? Panther was always political, you know what I mean? Like, it was, it was something that Stanley and Jack Kirby made, smart business move, they wanted to tap into to the African-American community, you know, and get them involved in the comic book industry. And this character always took political issues head on. I mean, how could he not? You know what I mean, being an being a, a, a African king in this, you know, in this, in, in this, in this world. Um, so it was never an issue, you know, with Marvel or Disney, by the way, of shying away from, from, from these things. It was like, you know, if we want to make a Black Panther comic book movie, let's make a Black Panther movie, you know? Uh -huh. um, and, I, and I think, look, I think superhero films um, have developed over, over time to the point that, you know, these films, I think the great ones work as more than one thing. 